আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওরহমতুল্লাহি ও বরকাত ওয়েলকাম টু অল অফ ইউ ইন বেসিক পাইপিং অ্যান্ড ওয়েল্ডিং কোর্স ক্লাস সো টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু বি স্টার্ট লেকচার এলেভেন সো ইন দিস লেকচার আই উইল ট্রাই টু শেয়ার উইথ ইউ সাম ইনফরমেশন অ্যাবাউট ওরিফিস প্লান্স অ্যান্ড ওরিফিস প্লেট ইনক্লুডিং দেয়ার কোড অ্যান্ড স্ট্যান্ডার্ডস and uh, you are watching from youtube channel nur muhammad and facebook page watch and learn if you still don't subscribe my youtube channel you can subscribe my youtube channel and you can like and follow my facebook page and don't forget to click your bell icon so today i am going to be start a lecture 11 so basically in this lecture i will uh, try to share with you some information about the orifice plunge and orifice plate so in full lectures uh, uh, actually i will uh, try to cover the everything about the orifice plunges so lecture duration can be something long but uh, i hope you will be watch full lectures and then you will be able to understand the full topic so let's see what we have in in our lectures so description of orifice plunges so introduction to orifice plunge orifice plunges are easy to recognize because they have a hole drilled through the face of the flange perpendicular to the pipe so in orifice plunge you can see that they are have the hole drill or tap hole whatever we call tap hole I will show you what is the tap hole. So second thing is uh, they also have a additional set of bolts called uh, jack screws. This screws actually uh, what purpose use I tell you. These screws are used to help separate the flanges. So inspection and or replacement of the orifice plate can be performed. So actually this jack screw used for the separating the flange to replace the orifice plate. Then the orifice flange are widely used in conjunction with orifice meter for measuring the volumetric flow rate of liquids and gases through a pipe. So actually this orifice flange used for measuring the volumetric flow rate of liquids and gases. So two orifice flanges are called an orifice flange union. So when we use the orifice flange, that time actually we use the two orifice flange. So this is called the orifice flange union. So each flange comes with a pipe tap for measuring the pressure drop of the flow through an orifice plate. So each orifice flange actually there have the tap hole I already uh, tell you before. Then another thing is orifice plates don't come with the flanges. So orifice plate, this is only the plate. They don't have any flanges. So this orifice plate comes separately. So orifice plate size based on the requirements of the process. So we can get the orifice plate size based on the requirement of process. Then orifice flanges are basically the same as standard oil neck slip on and screw flanges so orifice flanges is standard basically we use the same as the well neck slip on screw flanges same the ASME B16.5 so for orifice flanges the except for the provisional of radial tap hole in the flange ring for meter connection and additional bolt to act as a jack screw so actually this is the things standard cover as maybe 16.36 i will show you guys the another thing is the there are made in pressure classes 300 600 900 1500 and 2500 so material used if you consider the material then the material used the carbon steel steel is steel and alloy material if you consider the flange facing then we can see there is the raised face and ring joint so if we consider flange as the attachment we can see oil neck flanges 
then the slip on or threaded flanges and threaded flanges so actually based on the attachment we can see the orifice flange is the one leg flange orifice flange and slip on and threaded uh, orifice flange actually slip on and threaded orifice flange are used for low uh, pressure rating so we need to take note that uh, they are not available in 150 size because the thickness of 150 flanges are not enough to allow for the drilling pressure depth so in this flange phase the flange thickness actually not enough to drill the tap hole in orifice flange so that's why the 150 pound uh, flange are not available so standard we see what is standard we use so actually ask me b 16.36 this is standard we purely use for the orifice flange only and we need to use the ASME B16.5 pipe flanges and flange fittings. So flange material shall meet all requirement of ASME B16.5. So in this case, flange rating, flange thickness, everything actually we follow ASME B16.5. And for the orifice flanges, ASME B16.36 actually we follow for the tap hole and the jack screws and orifice plate that on so then you can see the in picture is here this one i take from spb 16.36 so there is the one neck flange threaded and slip on flange these three type of orifice flange actually are available so for this step hole and this threaded then the uh, is jacky screw all the standard actually you follow ask me b 16.36 so you can see is in figure this is the actually on uh, orifice flange uh, union to orifice flange so this is the orifice plate so we need the two gasket is inside so you can see there is the one is screw this is the call is the jack screws so actually this is the one uh, example for orifice flange connection <coughs> You can see the another picture is here. This is the tapping hole and this is the jack screw I already tell you. And this is the orifice plate is in between of the uh, flanges. So this is a jack screw actually used for to make the gap is here and orifice plate can uh, remove uh, very easily to replace our inspection. <coughs> then another important thing is the orifice flange internal grinding. <coughs> so if we welding is the uh, orifice flange with the pipe so we know uh, this is the you can see picture uh, here is the welding so during welding we know the inside uh, road uh, come out so if is road come out so during uh, water flow or gas flow is this is the very near to the orifice uh, meter so can be the disturbance is the pressure here so you cannot get the proper reading to in the orifice meter so this is the purpose we need to grind here so i will show you the what is the purpose we need to grind so you see here is the picture so welding if we welding here so this is the welding is coming over here so you need to grind the flush uh, up to the parent material during grinding we need to uh, take uh, take care about the parent meter material we cannot grind uh, more than uh, we cannot uh, grind uh, and cannot damage the parent material thickness <coughs> so purpose of the internal grinding so why we grind inside so this is the purpose an internal oil bead could cause some disrup dis disruption of the follow especially with a smaller diameter pipe so if pipe is the smaller diameter and welding is very near and there is the road come out so during the water or gas flow they are make the some disruption of the follow so for that reason we need to uh, grind oil bit so the second thing is if the purpose is for true flow measurement then the common practice is to grind the inside of the circumstantial oil smooth <coughs> If this is the purpose is the true flow measurement, then we should grind it inside. Then third thing is that if the purpose is for the restriction of follow, 
so if orifice flange we use for the restriction of hollow then no need to grind then another thing is if you are uh, in a hollow measurement situation with the pipe size 3 inches through 10 inches through the smoothness is far more important than maybe 24 inches so if pipe size is smaller than more important to grind compared to the bigger size of the pipes so we take note bsspk09 general specification for the fabrication of orifice meter runs so if you go through this uh, specification you can get the more details about the orifice flanges so figure for orifice flange for uh, nipple welding this is the another important things so actually in orifice flange we have the two hole tap hole so from two tap hole usually we use one side so here we need to weld the nipple to connect the tubing and to connect the orifice meter so <coughs> another side normally we put the hexagonal bolt or uh, screw uh, threaded type we seal the sealed here so welding is the here required the full penetration welding you can see the full penetration welding the nipple shall be drilled after welding so this nipple shall be drilled after welding because the to ensure smooth inner surface throughout so need to ensure this inner surface is the smooth to get the correct uh, uh, bellow of the follow, follow, follow bellow is here so this is the welding uh, requirement is there <coughs> so up to now I discussed about the orifice uh, flanges so now I uh, try to show you that is the orifice plate so actually orifice plate are one of the most popular device for the measurement and control of the follow so second thing is the in follow control application orifice plate are used a restriction device to regulate fluid flow or reduce the following pressure downstream of the orifice plate so actually orifice plate actually used for the uh, use as a the restriction device so orifice plate are normally mounted between a set of orifice flange and are installed in a straight run of a smooth pipe to avoid disturbance of hollow pattern from fittings and bulbs so actually orifice fl plate are normally used uh, to in between two flanges i already show the before uh, before in photos and this one actually we need to use for the straight run pipe so long pipe we should not use the nearby the elbow or bulbs so maybe if we use the nearby fittings or bulbs this one can be the disturbance of the follow so standard as a standard you can uh, refer the shape and manufacturing tolerance of plates used in manufacture ma measurement application are defined in the international standardization publication of iso aga asmi and others so you can see from this uh, photos this is the orifice uh, plate so you can see that this uh, bore is different type so <coughs> you can see there is the eccentric bore and the quadrant bore and segmental bore so i show you one by one which one what type of bore is here so square edge bore or standard bore so this is the this uh, bore is the center of the orifice plate so secondary the quadrant is bore so you can see the here is the taper so this is the quadrant bore then eccentric bore you can see this is the from center to far one side so this is the eccentric bore so another is the segmental bore so you can see this is the segmental bore actually different type of bore is the actually different purpose use <coughs> so orifice plate or flange flow meter you can see from these photos this is the actually orifice uh, meter so this is the pipe so before i tell you that this we should use the straight uh, long pipe and smooth straight long pipe to get the orifice uh, uh, we get the follow correct follow measurement so you can see this is the nipple uh, connected with the tubing to set the orifice meter is here so this is the orifice plate installed in between 
so the volumetric flow rate also known as volume flow rate a rate of fluid flow or volume velocity is the volume of fluid which pass per unit time so this uh, this measurement actually we need to uh, uh, we need to use uh, the pass per this uh, fluid of uh, which passes per unit time so you see uh, the SI unit is cubic meter per second so from this uh, inside per second how many how, how much cubic meter uh, water or gases flow you can see from here so this uh, that's all that was the actually re related to the orifice flanges so about the orifice flanges if you want to know any other uh, information or you have any question you can ask me in comments box uh, i am uh, requested you please watch the full lectures and you give your uh, valuable uh, comments and feedbacks so thanks to all for watching full lectures so end of the lecture i want to request you if you still not subscribe my youtube channel you can subscribe my youtube channel and you share with your friends to uh, if you think uh, these all the lectures are benefited for uh, them also so see you soon in my next lectures assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh